Have you guys ever wondered how much of a difference in power consumption does the temperature setting on an air conditioner actually make? How many kilowatt hours an air conditioner will use if you set the temperature to 22 versus 24 versus 26 degrees Celsius? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you exactly that. So what I'm going to do is run the air conditioner like I usually do at each three temperature settings for three days. And at the end of 24 hours, I will show you my total kilowatt hour unit count. So that will give you a rough idea of how much you can save by running the air conditioner at 26 degrees versus 22 and 24. So before we begin the test, I want to talk about a couple of important things that I think you guys will want to know. So number one, the size of the room. So this room is about 160 square feet. It's a medium sized room and power consumption does depend on the size of the room. Bigger the room, the more power your air conditioner will consume to cool it down. And number two, I live on the top floor. So the ceiling and that wall gets direct sun. There is a window over there. There's a door that leads to the balcony. And on the other side, there are two more doors. One leads to the bathroom and the other one leads to our living room. So a total of three doors and one window. And finally, number three, the heat load. This computer, my main video editing PC, this one runs during the daytime and at night I usually switch it off. But there's also a second computer which is sitting over there. That is our media server and that remains turned on 24 seven. And finally, there are two people who sleep in this room. So that should give you guys a rough idea of how much heat load there is in the room. The meter I'll be using is Meko PowerGuard PG09. This meter has a built-in kilowatt hour counter and a time counter clock which runs only when the air conditioner is running. And finally, the air conditioner I'm using is an LG dual inverter air conditioner. The model is LS H24 VNXT1. It's a brand new 2-ton unit. Got this installed in January 2021. And if you want to watch the review of this particular air conditioner, I will put the link in the video description. Also, the tonnage does not matter that much when it comes to power consumption because power consumption mainly depends on four factors. The size of the room, the temperature outside, heat load inside the room, and of course the temperature you set on your air conditioner. So a 1.5 ton unit will use the same amount of energy to bring the temperature down to a set level as a 2 ton unit. It's just gonna take a little longer for the smaller air conditioner to cool down a large room down to the set temperature. Also guys, a very important thing, when you put these LG air conditioners in sleep mode, the temperature rises by about 2 degrees automatically. So if you have the temperature set at 24 and if you put the air conditioner in sleep mode, it will rise by about 2 degrees and become 26 in about an hour. So I will be compensating for this. As the temperature rises, I will bring it back down to the level at which we are doing the test. So this will make our results a little bit more consistent. Also, the fan speed is set to medium, except when the air conditioner is running in sleep mode, that is during the night time. Alright guys, it is now 12 a.m. It's Sunday, 11th of April. So now let's start the test. So the first thing that I'm going to do is show you guys the power consumption if you decide to run the air conditioner at 22 degrees Celsius. And the outside temperature is 29.2. So even though it's like 12 a.m. outside, the outside temperature is pretty warm. So one thing I have noticed, during the night time, the power consumption isn't really that high. So even though the temperature is set to 22 degrees Celsius, it's only using 364 watts to maintain 22.3 degrees Celsius. But the thing is, to actually drop the temperature down to 22 degrees Celsius, the air conditioner pulls about 800 to 1000 watts. So that is where the major chunk of power consumption during the night time will come from. Oh, and have I mentioned it feels a little bit too cold for comfort at 22 degrees Celsius, especially at night. Anyways, guys, we'll let the air conditioner run and I'll see you guys in the morning and show you my nighttime usage. Okay, so now it is morning. Actually, it's afternoon, but let me show you my nighttime usage. So we have consumed almost four units in about nine hours. All right, so it's about 3 p.m. in the afternoon and the room is down down to temperature. It's about 22.6 degrees Celsius here near the computer and the outside temperature is 38.1. So it's pretty warm outside. Let's go ahead and check our power consumption. So to maintain 22 degrees Celsius, the air conditioner is only using about one kilowatt. Because the temperature has gone up to 22.6, the power consumption is increasing and once the temperature falls back to 22, 
the power consumption will decrease below 1 kilowatt. It will be very interesting to see how much power it takes to maintain 24 and 26 degrees Celsius. You shall see it later in the video. Alright, so as you can see, it's been 24 hours. It's now Monday, 12th of April. So let me show you guys my usage. So out of 24 hours, I have used the air conditioner for 14 hours and 16 minutes. So in the subsequent tests, I will try and match this number exactly. So 14 hours of usage and we have consumed 9.9 .9 units. So that's almost 10 units. That's a lot of energy. So now we are going to run the AC at 24 degrees Celsius. And look at how hot it is. Even though it's like 12 a.m. at night, the outside temperature is 29 degrees Celsius. And that is correct. My indoor outdoor thermometer shows that the outside temperature is 30.4 degrees Celsius. All right, so the room is now down to temperature. Take a look at the power consumption. It's only using 340 watts to maintain 24 degrees Celsius. And also, it's been a couple of hours and the outside temperature is also now 27.7. So I don't really expect this air conditioner to use a lot of power to maintain 24 degrees Celsius. Alright, so let this thing run and I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, so it's now morning, 11 a.m. Let me show you my nighttime usage. So I ran the air conditioner for 8 hours and 39 minutes. So almost 8 hours and 40 minutes. And we ended up consuming 3.19 units. So that's almost 0 0.8 kilowatt hours lower versus 22 degrees Celsius. Nice. So it's like 3.30 p.m. right now in the afternoon, so it's pretty warm outside. And we are down to temperature, so the room is at 24.2. And we are using 877 watts to maintain 24 degrees Celsius. So that's about 200 watts lower than what we were using at 22. So right now the outside temperature is 38.7, so pretty warm outside and inside it's 24.1, nice and cold. And look at the condensation on the inside of my water bottle. Yeah, the room is nice and cold. So yes, I will let this thing run and I will show you the total power consumption at 24 degrees Celsius at the end of the day. Alright, so it's 11.36 p.m. Monday 12th of April. So it's been 24 hours, let me show you my usage. So out of 24 hours, I have used the air conditioner for 14 hours and 14 minutes. That's because we are staying at home and our unit count is 7.82 kilowatt hours. And if you remember at 22 degrees Celsius, we got a total power consumption count of 10 kilowatt hours. So this is almost 2.2 kilowatt hours lower compared to 22. All right, so now let's go ahead and test out the power consumption at 26 degrees Celsius. And right now the outside temperature is 31.5. So the room temperature is down to 26 degrees. Actually, it's a little bit lower than 26. It's 25.7. And we are using about 300 watts to maintain this room temperature. And the thing is, even at 300 watts of power consumption, there is still cold air coming out. You know what? Let's take a quick temperature measurement. So, even at such low power level, the temperature of the air coming out is at about 13.6 degrees Celsius. Very impressive. Alright, so it's now morning. Let me show you my total usage and energy consumption. So, I used the air conditioner for 8 hours and 46 minutes and we ended up consuming 2.31 units. So, that's almost 0.8 kilowatt hours lower than what we did at 24. So, almost 1 unit worth of savings. All right, so we're going to carry on with the day and I will see you guys in the afternoon. All right, guys, the room is now down to temperature and the air conditioner is using about 700 watts to maintain 26 degrees Celsius. So at 24, we were using about 875. Now it's using 680. So that's about 185 watts lower. And actually today the outside temperature is a little bit high. It's 39.2 degrees Celsius and it's 25.7 on this side of the room. So yeah, not that much of a power consumption to maintain 26 degrees Celsius. So that clearly shows you it takes less power to maintain 26 degrees as opposed to 24 degrees Celsius. So right now it's late evening, it's about 8 p.m. at night and look at the power consumption. It's only using 350 watts and I've got plenty of heat load in my room. I've got my PC running, actually I'm working right now. So but I really wanted to show you how low the power consumption is. And right now the outside temperature is 33.4. So what I'm noticing is that the power consumption alternates between 350 to 500 watts. 
when the room temperature rises as it did right now it's up to 26.7 the power consumption has also gone up to 500 watts as the room temperature drops back to 26 the power consumption will also drop back down to 350 watts very very interesting all right guys once again it has been 24 hours let me go ahead and show you my usage at 26 degrees celsius so i've used the air conditioner for 14 hours and 18 minutes so the usage is almost exactly the same as yesterday and we have consumed six units so if you remember when we were running the ac at 24 degrees celsius the unit count was 7.8 so that's a reduction of 1.8 kilowatts so almost two units and if you compare 22 degrees versus 26 you are saving almost 4 kilowatt hours so that is almost 40 percent power savings and keep in mind guys this number adds up this is the kind of saving we get for one day imagine if you have two of these air conditioners and you're running both of them at 26 this number adds up within a month and if you live in a tropical country you're gonna use the air conditioner for at least five to six months so that 4 kilowatt hours worth of saving adds up. Okay, so a quick recap. At 22 degrees Celsius, we ran the air conditioner for 14 hours and 15 minutes, and we ended up consuming 10 units, so no savings at all. By increasing the temperature to 24 degrees Celsius and running the AC for about 14 hours and 15 minutes, same as before, we consumed 7.8 units, so that's a saving of 2.2 kilowatt hours. And finally, running the air conditioner at 26 degrees Celsius for about the same time, 14 hours and 18 minutes, we ended up using 6 kilowatt hours or 6 units. And that's a saving of almost 4 kilowatt hours. In other words, that's a total saving of almost 40%. Now, I know this test is not scientific at all and everyone is going to get different readings because there are just too many variables involved when it comes to power consumption of air conditioners. But still, this test gives you a rough idea of how much energy you can save by running the air conditioner at 26 versus 22. I was able to save about 40% worth of electricity by running it at 26 versus 22. And that is actually a lot of power saving because once again, this number adds up. And not to mention, 26 feels a lot more comfortable. Now, my personal temperature setting depends on the season. Like, during the summer season, I prefer 26 degrees Celsius. And during the months of May and June, when the outside temperature is 45 degrees Celsius, I prefer running the air conditioner at 27 and even 28 because that feels comfortable. You see guys, the goal of having an air conditioner is to feel comfortable, not to feel cold. But when it comes to monsoon season, I prefer running the air conditioner at 24 because that gives better dehumidification. So I hope this video gives you a rough insight of how much power you can save by running the AC at 26 instead of 22 and 24 degrees Celsius. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos like these and I will see you guys next time.